Mm, kick. Y'all already know the business. Let's get into this video. This is probably a good video to explain a lot of questions that I have. Maybe not a lot of questions that I have, but I think this is so this is a very good reason why people decide to choose this lifestyle. Let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> and then we're gonna talk about this one word that's been popping up. Due to my strong preference for women, people always seem to have this confusion about my gender. Like, how can I be trans but still have a preference for women? As if the two things have anything to do with each other. But instead of getting into how gender and sexuality are two separate things, Instead, I like to explain it like this. You see, I love women so fucking much, I had to go out and become one myself. Like, who doesn't fucking love titties? I said, let me get a pair of my own. I don't know how well y'all could hear that, but I'll re-summarize it for you again. Due to my strong preference for women, people... So he says, due to my preference, my strong preference for women... Always seem to have this confusion... People oh, always seem to have this like, confusion. I be trans, but still have a preference for women. How can I be trans and still have a preference for women? As if the two things have anything to do with each other. As if the two things have anything to do with each other. But instead of getting into how gender and sexuality are two separate things. Instead of getting into how gender and sexuality are two different things. Instead, I like to explain it like this. You see. Instead, I like to explain it like this. You see, I love women so fucking much. I love women so fucking much. I had to go out and become one myself. Like, I had to go out and become one myself. Like, who doesn't fucking love titties? I said, let me get a. Who doesn't fucking love titties? I said, a pair of my own. Let me get a pair of my own. I'm gonna, I wanna explain this one word to you guys right quickly. Cause it's new to me too. Never heard of it. Uh, how you spell it? If it's, it might not even be a word. But we're gonna look it up. It's called. Let me make sure I say it right. Here we go. I'll let y'all hear it. Autogynophilia. Autogynophilia. So autogenophilia. What is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Autogenophilia <laughs> is defined as a male's propensity to be sexually aroused by the thought of himself as a female. It is a paraphilia that is theorized to underlie transvestism of some forms of male to female. Before we continue on, we got to look at the word propensity. I mean, it's, why they would throw that word in there instead of making it simpler? Propensity. An inclination of natural tendency to behave in a particular way. So let's go over that definition again. Autogenophilia is defined as a male's inclination or natural, or natural way to behave about being sexually aroused by the thought of himself as a female. What do you guys think about that huh do you think that some reason some men become trans is because they actually get sexually aroused by being a female they say this about drag queens as well i'm gonna say this do i think that's the every one of them no i do think there is a such thing as gender dysphoria that has been proven but now nah, not but also I do think there is men who want to be females for the sexual arousal of it. We have noticed with the rise of pornography, the more we see men becoming women because it may arouse them to look like a woman. It may arouse them to put themselves in women's clothing and dress and panties and pantyhose and stuff like that. This guy just said he loves breasts. So why not have his own? Men may be attracted to having breasts. Men may be attracted to men Men, these kind of men would probably be also attracted to what they call in pornography pegging, which is when a female has sex with the guy with a sex toy, pretty much. Um, and I think that may be some of it. I want to go back to what I mentioned a couple days ago. The guy who directed The Matrix, 
the guy who directed The Matrix talked about. You know what? Hold on. No, we'll make that another video. But the guy who talked about The Matrix, the director of Matrix, said the reason he becomes so involved in trans, becoming a trans individual, the reason he wanted to do that, or he started to become inclined to it, have a propensity, if you could say, is because he looked at trans porn. They call those so they also call that hypnotizing porn. Um, if you've ever looked at porn, you don't have to go look this up, but if you've ever been involved in porn, and I'm sure if men are watching this, you've seen this. There's a thing called sissy porn. Sissy porn is a uh, a humiliation where they take men and they sissify them, if you would say. What they do is they end up making them into a very feminine, vi feminized version of a man. So there'll be stuff like, they'll, they'll say stuff like, oh, you love to get blowjobs. Oh, you love to have sex. Oh, you love to be um, pegged. They'll, they'll say humiliating things to men. It's called hypnotizing porn because it starts to feminize a man into making a man think that, oh, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. And that's what the guy, the director of The Matrix, said was happening, man. The more he started looking into trans porn and that kind of sissified porn, the more he wanted to become trans. It is worse than you think, especially when you start doing it at a young age because I believe when The Matrix came out, I don't remember how old these men were, but I think they were young if not in their 30s, but if they were in their 20s, for sure. And it's funny that both of them, both directors became trans. It's crazy. <laughs> and so what do y'all think? I just wanted to make this short video. Do y'all think autogenophilia leads to some people being trans? Do you think it leads most people to being trans? Do you think it leads to... <laughs> do you think it just leads to men just being weird with women in general? like wanting to go into their bathrooms and stuff like that. Do you think that's a turn on for men? I am inclined to say yes. Um, not in every situation, obviously, but I think we are seeing more men who are more sexually aroused by that kind of stuff. This is my last topic of the day. I'm done. Peace.